With the second season on its way before the first season finishes, HBO's House of the Dragon looks to become as big and as important as its predecessor, Game of Thrones. I'm Mr. Mac, and now it's time to dive into the first episode of the show, Heirs of the Dragon. At the start of the main plot of House of the Dragon, King Viserys Targaryen sits on the Iron Throne, backed by Otto Hightower as King's Hand, and Corals Valerion as Master of Ships. Viserys isn't a bad king. He isn't sadistic like Joffrey or crazy like the Mad King from the main books and show, but Viserys is weak. He's trying to avoid conflict, and he prefers to spend his time focusing on tourneys and hoping for a son. So in the first episode, the line of succession is unclear. There's Viserys' daughter, Rhaenyra, and Viserys' younger brother, Daemon Targaryen, who is the heir apparent, but Daemon is as violent and brutal as Viserys is not. And Daemon is ambitious and arrogant. He sits on the Iron Throne one time, which is what Jaime did during the sack of King's Landing, and Daemon makes enemies. Otto Hightower and Daemon are rivals on the small council, much like Peter Baelish and Varys were, or more accurately, will be. And Corals Valerion is trying to quietly replace Daemon as heir with Corals' wife, Rhaenys Targaryen, who is Viserys' cousin. All of this comes to a head when Viserys' wife, Queen Aima, dies along with her newborn son. Now, Daemon is supposed to be definitively Viserys' heir, but Daemon manages to finally get Viserys well and truly angry at him, so Viserys replaces Daemon with Rhaenyra as his heir. Meanwhile, Otto pushes his daughter, Alicent Hightower, closer together with Viserys in hopes of getting the king to marry Alicent and having a son with her to be heir instead. So, in Heirs of the Dragon, there's a lot of tension rising within the small council, and something is going to give. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.